It's time for a special presentation of Central Illinois Sports as we follow the Griggsville Perry Eagles on their track for a state championship. We couldn't have this game without these important sponsors. Teddy's Bar and Grill, Waters Concrete, Dot Foods Incorporated, Gianni's Pizza, Musgrave Angus Premium Beef, Lipcomen Insurance, Lipcomen Seed Sales, The City of Griggsville, The Griggsville Bus Service, Farmers State Bank, Wildcat Car Wash, Gina, Corey, and Mariska Sherman, and Dalton Two, Midwest Snowy, Integrity Investments, Andy Henry, Damon Emrick, Great Rivers Bank, Rumors Have It, A&D Builders, Anthony and Afton Bar Eyes, DNL Project Management, Farmers National Bank of Griggsville, Beard Implement Company, the East Pike Lending Library. Now let's head courtside to the guys in this important broadcast of Griggsville Perry Eagles Trek to the State Tournament. And good afternoon to you. Welcome to IESA 7th grade Class 1A State Semi-Final Action from East Peoria Central Junior High School on Central Illinois Sports. This afternoon we have the Griggsville Perry Eagles who enter this contest with a record of 19 and 6 taking on the 20 and 4 Peoria Limestone Walters Rockets. Good afternoon to you. I'm Charlie Holt. Jack's alongside as well. John is our producer and engineer today. This is the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. These two teams with wins this morning match up now in this semifinal contest. We'll talk about the results of the other games in the tournament so far and preview the matchup on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show after this. Wish you had extra cash for a vacation, a boat, a new car, projects around the house. Free up more cash for the things you want by taking advantage of low interest rates. Refinance your home with Great Rivers Bank and keep more of your money by lowering your monthly payment. Start the process online at greatriversbank.bank and work with one of our experienced loan officers to get the lowest rate possible. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Once or twice a year, I might get the cold or a flu and my wife calls it the man flu. So, <laughs> so you know what that is. Oh, yeah. What do I love about our team? We have a good chemistry. We all work together. I mean, come on. I've got the best job in the world. Sometimes they say, oh, I like to do handstands. Yeah, I taught Brian how to do the handstand. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and every day, I mean, it's a fun day. Yeah, it definitely makes me proud to be here. Hi, I'm Tammy Brewer. My husband and I are the owner and operators of Nucci's Bar and Restaurant. At Nucci's, we feature salmon, steaks, burgers, sandwiches, all Italian specialties made from our own recipes. You are guaranteed a high quality, delicious meal every time you visit. People come from all over to dine in. We have live music on the weekends, which adds to the relaxing environment here. You can check out our Facebook page for our entertainment schedule. We recently opened a second business, Brewed Coffee House and Eatery. There we offer handcrafted beverages like lattes and macchiatos and cappuccinos. And we also specialize in paninis and salads and subs. And we even have ice cream. We're excited to provide another restaurant that serves the needs of our community. Come on down. We look forward to serving you. Press Yours On You designs promotional items and create just about anything to showcase your company. Communities celebrate their school spirit and turn to us too for screen printing, embroidery, laser engraving, and more. Press Yours On You, Highway 24, Camp Point. Welcome back on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports with locations in Pittsfield, Liberty, and Barrie. Great Rivers Bank is here to serve you with all of your banking needs. Learn more about all of their services by visiting greatriversbank.bank. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. This is a class 1A, seventh grade state semifinal contest between the Peoria Limestone Walters Rockets and the Griggsville Perry Eagles. Earlier today, Peoria Limestone Walters defeated Ottawa Marquette by a final of 50-34, a contest that the uh, young squad from Peoria Limestone was up 14-4 at the end of one and had a commanding 26-10 halftime lead. 
It was much more even in the second half of play as the Rockets kind of let up a little bit and tried to conserve some energy for a game they knew they would have later in the day. But they had two young men score 20 points apiece in Griffin White and Gavin Kleckler, Klecker, excuse me. They both scored 20 points apiece very efficiently from the floor. Luke Subbert also put in 10 for the 50, so three guys combined for the scoring in that contest for the Rockets. Grigsville Perry came out, and after a close game in the early going, took a 13-8 first quarter lead, but then dominated the second quarter, outscoring Effingham Sacred Heart 15-1 and led 28-9 at the half. Again, the second half was a little more even as the Eagles took the foot off the gas a little bit, but they were led in scoring by Brody Rush with 16 points, including 6 of 10 from the free throw line. Cason Brown had 14 in that contest. He was 6 of 7 from the charity stripe and also hit two threes in the contest for the Eagles, who forced 20-plus turnovers in route to that victory. Other scores here, Danville Schlarman beat Gifford in their quarterfinal game, 31-23. And Springfield Christ the King took care of Peru Catholic 43-19. Peoria Limestone Walters and Griggs will appear in the semifinal. Danville Schlarman and Springfield Christ the King. And the game scheduled to tip off at 6.30. The winners will play at 7.30 next Thursday evening right here at East Peoria Central Junior High. And the third and fourth place game between the losers of these two games will play at 6 o'clock. Of course, we'll have the game that the Eagles play in right here for you on Central Illinois Sports, and that's only possible due to, due to the support of great sponsors from the community. And let's pause here to hear from some of them right now on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. Ag is now in its 60th year. That's almost as old as Grampy. That's right, boys, and we continue to provide quality product at competitive prices. With service that exceeds customer expectations. Logan Agri Service. Serving agriculture since 1962. No matter who wins today, you can be on the winning team. Discover a job where your pay, job security, and safety are our top priorities. At DOT, our material handlers and drivers earn some of the best money in the market. Plus, we top that off with gold-based pay opportunities, profit sharing, vacation time, 401k matching, and more. Make your fantasy team a reality. Join DOT today. Midwest Snowy, your locally owned shaved ice business, is looking forward to seeing all of our loyal customers this summer. Come try one or all of our over 30 flavors, including sugar-free and the Snowy Natural line, which has no artificial dyes or flavoring. Check out our Facebook and Instagram pages to see our schedule. If you want to see us at your event, message us on Facebook or contact us at 217-730-8886. When the weather gets hot, come see us at Midwest Snowy. The cool part of summer. When you think about it, productivity starts at planting. So it's time to rethink how productive your planter can be. We did with the new Case IH 2000 Series Early Riser Planter. We rethought your row unit so it's tougher, more accurate. We rethought your meter, took the most precise technology, factory installed it. We rethought every inch of the Case IH Early Riser Planter to make it the most productive planter around. And if you think about it, that's exactly what you want. Back on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. Both teams out of the court warming up in preparation for the state semifinal here in Class 1A 7th grade action after picking up their wins earlier in the day here at East Peoria Central Junior High School. And, Jack, we uh, talked about in the last segment that this uh, Limestone Walters Rocket squad had two young men, scored 20 points, and Gavin Klecker and Griffin White, Griffin White at the guard, Gavin Klecker, a nice athletic bigger man, and these two guys will really pose some uh, matchup issues for Griggsville Perry. Yeah, it's it's going to be one of those challenges, but the key on the thing is, is don't let them feel comfortable as they're bringing the ball up and down the court. If you can make them do some things that they're not normally used to doing, it's hard to say what a 13, 14 year old kid, or in fact a 12, 13 year old kid's going to do. And uh, talked to the coaches before the game and said, hey, uh, to Ben and Chris, I said, uh, 
kind of surprised you're not Bartonville Limestone. He says, well, we're, we're a mile and a half away from that, and our mailing addresses are something completely different. You have to understand in all those communities being tied together, but Limestone, uh, they remembered when Dan Spurl was a head coach there that's uh, at Quincy Junior High School as a principal now and a longtime basketball coach. But Limestone's a pretty good size area to be pulling kids from. Yeah, it is. Of course, the 1A cutoff is not very much. In fact, you take a look at a school like Winchester, for instance, since they and Bluffs were together at the junior high level, they actually made it to class 3A out of four by one student. They were into the class 3A this year. In 2A action, by the way, earlier today, Calhoun won their quarterfinal contest, and they'll play in the state semifinal in class 2A, and we wish the young Calhoun Blackhawks the best of luck in that contest. And, you know, we talked about some of the area officials working. Well, Tory Points is going to be working this game, as is Aaron Eisfelder. So a couple of guys from kind of our region, and we've seen both of them. Tory is a tremendous official that's worked a lot of big games over the years. Aaron's really worked into becoming a very quality official, too. And the third gentleman, I don't know, but he's working with a couple of guys, and it will be very well officiated. I can tell you that today, too. But... Looking forward to this one, Griggsville Perry. Maybe it was a surprise they won their first game, but honestly, they kind of won it going away. And you said before the game, it's all about how you start and how you handle things in the very beginning of the game. Yep, these two teams both uh, were able to settle in first and uh, take control of their contest fairly early in the first half and really got a comfortable lead, never had to look back on that second half of play. It'll be important in this one as well to see who can impose their style earliest. It's the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. We're just under 10 minutes away from the starting lineups of the play-by-play -play of this state semifinal contest. Back with more after this. NL Project Management is a licensed, bonded, and insured roofing company owned by Darren Workman. We specialize in all types of roofing from shingles, metal roofs, commercial, industrial, and residential roofing. Book your roof project early before the price increase hits. Call 217-371-2760 or find us on Facebook as well. DNL Project Management, roofing their way on top of your home or business. 217-371-2760. A&D Builders, owned and operated by Anthony and Afton Barreyes, is located in Barry, Illinois. They specialize in building homes in Pike County and the eastern Missouri Hannibal area. A&D focus on new builds but offer remodels including siding and room remodels. They also offer creative home designs where they draft custom homes. In addition, they do in-ground pool installation. While others are two to three years out, call A&D and you will see they can get to your project right away. Phone 217-440-5930 for A&D Building making your dreams real for you. Farmers, are you looking for high-yield genetics to help the bottom line on your farm? Contact Lipkeman Seed Sales for high-yielding A-Series soybean from Pioneer. We have the luxury right now to be offering the highest-yielding soybean lineup Pioneer has offered in 30 years. Couple that with a service that is second to none, and you have a winning combination for your farm. For corn, check out the results of the National Corn Growers Yield Contact and see who's at the top. Maybe today is a good day to revisit Pioneer Corn Hybrids as well. Contact Aaron, Evan, and Brett today for for high-yielding A-Series soybeans for Pioneer. Rumors have it Bar & Grill in Griggsville is located at 115 West Quincy Street in Griggsville, of course. Locally owned and operated Monday through Thursday plus Saturday. Kitchen is open 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Friday an hour later till 9 and Sunday 1 to 6. Carryout is welcome. Call 217-833-2000. Mushrooms, great onion rings, jalapeno poppers, plus more. Great salads, sandwiches, hand-padded burgers, wraps, horseshoes, pulled pork. Rumors have it there's even more in Griggsville on the south side of the main drag. Welcome back on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. Central Illinois Sports is where you'll watch the game here this afternoon and into the early evening. And if you would, hit that subscribe button on the YouTube channel. That'll let you know when we go live with events from around the uh, area here on Central Illinois Sports. And I want to remind you about the Central Illinois Sports High School Senior all-Star Game, it's scheduled for March 19th in Pittsfield. Seniors from around the region will be converging on Voschel Gym that night for what should be a fantastic evening, showcasing their skills with uh, some of their well, former foes as they'll get together and uh, play in that contest. Really looking forward to it. Again, that's Saturday, March 19th in Pittsfield. The alumni game will start at 5 o'clock, and they'll play for about an hour. Then we'll have the 
three-point contest and free throw contest at 6. This year's version of the game starts at 6.30. Dunk contest at halftime. Lots of chances for the fans to win prizes as well with the rainbow shot. We'll also the dash for cash in between the first and third quarters. So uh, come out and enjoy the evening with us for the Central Illinois Sports All-Star Game. Here it's junior high state tournament action. And, you know, Jack, no matter what level you're at, Anytime you get a chance to win a contest that puts you into the state championship game, it's always a game you're trying to compete and win. Junior high is an interesting duck because you play two or three games in a regional, a single sectional game. Next thing you know, you're in the state tournament, and you play that first game, and you go, hey, if we win, we play again today. How will we recover from that? Well, junior high kids seem to recover quite well. And then you're in a situation where we win, and we're playing for the big trophy, just like the uh, PCS Lady Braves did just a few weeks, months ago now. That's where Griggsville's at right now. And when we got here today, we had no idea how they would handle things, but they looked pretty darn good in the first game. So did this Peoria Walters team. And uh, so it ought to be a good matchup today. We're really looking forward to good basketball. Yes, we are. Of course, uh, we saw Brody Rush have a big game in the first contest for Griggsville Perrion. So you'd think if you're... Limestone, you're trying to probably slow him down a little bit. And if you are the Eagles, you're trying to really concentrate on Griffin White and Gavin Kleckler. Klecker, excuse me. And uh, neither team really went to the bench in overabundance. No, and, and you know, it, it's a little different in junior high. It's not like you can go really, really deep and you're playing some sixth graders who are in their first experience in this. In fact, all these kids are without a state tournament last year to kind of build some confidence in. But they better pay attention to Case and Brown because they uh, tell me that he started a couple other games for them hitting some big threes, and he showed he could hit the tray today from 19-9. I don't know how many of him it would take to get you to 19-9, but quite a few. Kaysen's not really big, but he played very aggressive and heady today, as did all the young Eagles. I really was impressed with how they handled pressure today. We told you before the first game, this is the 31st appearance for Griggsville Perry, Perry or Griggsville. The program now has an overall state tournament record of 40 and 27 with 10 state trophies. They'll take the 11th home of some type. They're looking for the big one still. And uh, 17 of those appearances, at least with one win. So now make it 18 of those appearances with at least one win. They've got a trophy case that will match up with about anybody in IESA history. It's the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. Let's pause for a timeout here. When we come back, starting lineups, play-by-play. In the state semifinal contest, you're way next. Farmers State Bank proudly supports the communities it serves, and we wish the Griggsville Perry Eagles the best of luck in the IESA state tournament. As the area's top-ranked ag bank, we are proud to serve our customers from six locations in Pittsfield, Winchester, Whitehall, Jerseyville, and Hull. Farmers State Bank, member FDIC, and equal housing lender, saying... Go Eagles! For delicious, authentic Italian pizza and pasta, it's Gianni's Pizza on the Square in Pittsfield. From delicious appetizers to a wide selection of specialty pizzas and pastas, Gianni's has something everyone will enjoy. Take advantage of the Gianni's Pizza Special, where you can order any extra-large pizza and receive a free, small, one-topping pizza. For carryout or delivery, call 285-4002. That's 285-4002 for Gianni's Pizza on the Square in Pittsfield. State Representative C.D. Davidsmeyer is excited to support this broadcast of State Tournament Action. Representative Davidsmeyer is honored to serve our area as your state representative. He cares about the people in his district and works hard to hear your voice. C.D. welcomes you to reach his office in Jacksonville at 325 West State Street or give him a call at 217-243-6221. State Representative C.D. Davidsmeyer wishing you good luck in your run to the title. Paid for by C.D. Davidsmeyer for re-election to the Illinois legislature. The East Pike Lending Library is the little gold mine in Detroit, Illinois that you may not know about. They offer free, yes, free books for your pleasure. East Pike Lending Library is funded by area donations from friends. There's no charge ever for you to take a book and enjoy it. Presently, they are not taking book donations as they are blessed with way too many books. That means you need to stop by soon. The East Pike Lending Library is run by volunteers, and that just might be you. Come in as a stranger, leave as a friend at the East Pike Lending Library in Detroit. 
Musgrave Angus Premium Beef would like to congratulate the Griggsville Perry Eagles and their coach Matt Henson for their trip to the state tournament. Musgrave Angus provides premium beef that is locally raised. You can buy it at one of our three locations in Pittsfield, Haymakers, Roots Market, or Pike County Mercantile. It's Musgrave Beef. Can you taste it? It's delicious Musgrave Premium Beef. Back with you on Central Illinois Sports. Just about ready to take a look at the starting lineups in this contest. The Griggsville Perry Eagles and the Peoria Limestone Rockets. And I believe we'll probably see the national anthem here before we kick off this state semifinal. Down to the final four in Class 1A, seventh grade action. Eighth graders, of course, will play in their state tournaments a week from now in uh, four different sites. Griggsville Perry's eighth graders were defeated in their contest yesterday. And if you watch the Griggsville Perry eighth grade team, it looks a lot like the Griggsville Perry seventh grade team because they just have one eighth grader in the program this year. If you're wondering how people get the host, well, they asked for it. Like Auburn, like East Peoria, they put their names in, they build a good group together and they host it. And the IESA, IESA is always looking for other hosts, so contact them at IESA.org to find out more information on how maybe your school could be a host of regional sectionals and maybe even a state tournament. If you've got a great facility, we could do it at. I know PCS or Volsha would look good as a place to host something like this. Yep, definitely would be a good opportunity for a lot of schools around the state to be able to host and showcase some of their facilities and also create a little revenue as well when it comes to concessions and that sort of thing. Bringing people to town, that's always a good yep, one. That's very, very true. Just kind of hanging tight here to see if they're going to have that national anthem. They are not, so let's meet the uh, starting lineups brought to you in part by Damon Emmerich at Great Rivers Bank. Here to help you with your auto residential and commercial loan needs, call Damon Emmerich, 217-285-4404. Zero four. The visiting team are the Griggsville Perry Eagles. Matt Hansen is their head coach. Ian Smith, their assistant. They're 19 and 6. They'll start the following at a guard. He's a seventh grader. Brody Rush at a second guard. He's a sixth grader, Kaysen Brown. And a third guard, a seventh grader, Mario Rogers. Out of forward, a seventh grader, Hunter Brown. And at the other forward, a seventh grader, Blake Howland. Howland, Kaysen, and Hunter Brown, Mario Rogers, and Brody Rush for Briggsville Perry. For the Peoria Limestone Walters Rockets, Ben White and Chris Yoakum are their coaches. They're 22 and four on the season. They'll start at a guard, a sixth grader, Noah Myers. At a guard, a seventh grader, Griffin White. And at a guard, a sixth grader, Lucas Subbert. At a forward, he is a seventh grader, Justice Duggar. And at the other forward, he's a seventh grader, Gavin Klecker. Klecker, Duggar, Subert, White, and Myers for the Limestone Walters Rockets. Get a kick out of the Eagles because after they're introduced as the visiting team, they go right out through the circle. They're ready to make things happen. They shake hands, and the referees are heading that way. Guys, we're ready for basketball action on Central Illinois Sports. Glad you've joined us. Hey, where are you watching from? 217-473-5151. That's 473-5151. Send us a text. Don't call me. Send us a text and tell us where you're watching from and wish your team good luck for both of these squads. Klecker jumps for the Rockets against Howland for the Eagles. The tip is up and controlled by Riggsville Perry. Brody Rush will run it down in the backcourt. And we are underway. Zone defense for the Rockets to start the contest. Case and Brown with it out top. The Rush left side lets it fly from downtown off the iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Klecker for Limestone. Gets it to White. White works it across the half-court line. Double team coming his way, trying to dribble away from the pressure now. Throws it out between the circles to Duggar. Over on the left side, Lucas Subert gets a touch. Bounce pass down low to Klecker. Back out on the right side, a three-point shot. Griffin White knocks it down and gives Limestone Walters an early 3-0 advantage. Set play finally behind the arc at 19-9, and he hits the shot. Just underway here in the first quarter. Rogers with it out top, and he travels as he... Drug the pivot foot, so a turnover on the Eagles is their first of this contest. First turnover against Griggsville Perry, and it took them almost to the uh, first half before they had one last game. White will be the man to bring it up. Again, he put up 20 in their win earlier today. Works the ball on the left side to Subert. Subert for a three, no good. Rebound down to Klecker. 
He'll work it back out top to White for another tray, and it's good again. White's got two threes and a timeout by Griggsville Perry. 6-0. The Rockets lead the Eagles as we pause for this timeout on Central Illinois Sports. Wildcat Car Wash in Barry and the Sherman family, Mariska, Dalton, Gina, and Corey Sherman would like to wish the Eagles good luck in the state tournament. They've made several updates and upgrades with the car wash and more to come. If you'll download the Touch 4 Wash app or your first wash, it will be free. From the Tri-State Car Wash and Wildcat Car Wash in Barry, call 217-407-407. 4511 for Tri-State Car Wash and the Wildcat Car Wash in Barry. 459 to play in the first, an early 6-0 advantage for the Rockets. Eagles call up a timeout. They'll have the basketball. As they bring it into the front court, Rogers with it on the right wing. Had it knocked away. Runs it down out near the half-court line to Kaysen Brown. He dribbles toward the top of the key. Hunter Brown, right side Rogers to Kaysen Brown. Out front for a three, trying the answer, and it's good from downtown. Kaysen Brown for the tray. And makes it a 6-3 score on the Trash Queen scoreboard. White into the front court to Subert left side. Another good look. He'll put it up, and he'll hit. Threes falling from everywhere in this contest, and it's a 9-3 advantage for the Rockets. Rain and trays. Brown trying to answer the other way. In and out, no good on the quick shot. Rebound, Klecker. He'll work the outlet pass to White. A six-point lead and the basketball for the Limestone Rockets. On the right side with it is Duggar. Works it in the corner to Myers. A lot pass down though. Tips someone away. First turnover by the Rockets. Hunter Brown brings it across for Griggsville Perry. Finds Rush on the right side. He'll put it on the deck. Dribbles between a couple of guys and is fouled. He's going to be fouled on the play by Griffin White. First foul of the ball game on either team. White will pick it up here at the four-minute mark of the first quarter. It's raining trays. Four of them, nine to three in favor of Limestone Walters. Aaron Kerfman into the game as Blake Howland sits down for Riggsville Perry. Four minutes to play in the first. Eagles down by six. Right side, Hunter Brown. He'll put it on the deck, drive to the baseline. Out top, Kaysen Brown. Over to Mario Rogers for a three. It's off the iron, no good. And the rebound, a tie-up between Hunter Brown and Klecker. It'll be limestone basketball on the alternating possession yeah. arrow. Howland is able to get that jump ball at the beginning of the game, so this time it worked the way of Peoria. Into the front court with it is White. Out near the half court line. Over it goes to Duggar in the corner to Subert. Subert dribbles out of that spot, out to White near the half court line to Subert. On the left side, Duggar for a three, and they're on fire from downtown. Makes it 12-3 Limestone as they are shooting threes from all over the place. Out front with it is Hunter Brown. Over to Brody Rush. 3-10 to play in the first for the Eagles. No reason to panic yet. Here's Hunter Brown trying to shoot a three. It's no good. Rebound, though, run down on the offensive side by Brody Rush. And then he's fouled on his way to the basket. And that foul is going to go against Justice Duggar. It'll be his first, team second. Ball out of bounds. Nice rebound by Mr. Rush on the offensive side. Kaysen Brown to throw it in for the Eagles. Looks for an opening. He'll throw it in the corner to Rogers. To Rush on the wing left side. Takes a single dribble of it. Lets it fly. Shot off the back iron. No good. Klecker with the rebound is third. Gets it to White. A nine-point lead now for the Rockets. And the basketball, 2.49 to play in the first. Opens up that middle when you've made that many threes already, doesn't it? White gets it down to Klecker. He'll put it up and in right on cue there. And Griggsville Perry will take their second timeout of this first quarter. 2.39 to play in the first, 14-3. Limestone on top of Griggsville Perry back after this. Teddy's Bar and Grill, home of the Eagle Nest Burger in the Bird City, Griggsville, Illinois. Teddy's Bar and Grill wishes the Griggsville Perry Eagles Junior High the best of luck in your trip to the state tournament. Teddy's is located on the north side of the beautiful Griggsville Square in downtown Griggsville, Illinois. How hard can it be to find, especially when you're hungry or want some time with great friends? Stop by Teddy's Bar and Grill in Griggsville today. 
When you are considering a great place to raise a family, we invite you to visit the great city of Griggsville. Mayor Kent Guay and the city board want you to find out why Griggsville is a great place to live and work. Griggsville, affectionately known as the Bird City because of their love of the Purple Martins, offers great schools, beautiful parks, great access to Interstate 72, churches, businesses, and most of all, the people. Find out why Griggsville would make a great place for you to call home. Good luck, Eagles. We are proud of you. 239 to play in the first. 14 3 advantage for Limestone Walters now. And a near turnover. Man ran out of real estate along the sideline, and Lucas Suber nearly had a steal. Very quick out front playing that zone. They usually lay back, but they're being a little uh, sneaky as they pop out when you try to make that pass. 232 to play in the first. Clock's not running right now. Still not ready. Yep, it's a little stagnant at this point. They'll work it on the wing now to rush, and they'll call him for a travel. Ran for a second in about the 10 that they played. Turnover on the Eagles, and they are a little out of sorts right now. Second turnover against GP. They've fallen down by double digits here in the first quarter as the Lifestone Rockets have come out shooting the three. Here's White. they work it over to Duggar. In the paint, right back out. Subert, three, good again. He's got six. 17 to three, Rockets. What could you do about it, yeah, whoever I mean, you are? Yeah, there's good ball movement, and they're hitting everything right now. Rush with it on the left wing in the corner to Kaysen Brown. Brown going to try to shoot the three to shoot him back into it. No good. Rebound to Klecker. Not a lot of second chance opportunities for the Eagles either. White with it into the front court. Four defensive rebounds for Klecker along with his points. He's going to shoot it from NBA range. It's no good. Rebound pulled down by Duggar. Out to White again from the volleyball line, and it's good. He shot it from the volleyball line, and it's good. 20 to 3. Limestone. 130 to play in the first. They could be playing one of the high school teams right now when you're shooting like that and have a lead like this. Brown. In the corner, it goes to Hunter Brown from Kaysen. Back to Kaysen Brown to Hunter Brown. He'll fire up a three. It's good. As the Eagles hit their second three of the day. They've got a lot of work to do in this one, though. But you never know. Yep, a lot of game left. 111 to play in the first. Into the front court, right side, Duggar. Worked it inside. Ball tip, stolen away. Turnover on the Rockets. They're second. Quickly into the front court, Brody Rush. He'll drive in, and a blocking foul going to be called here against Justice Duggar. Duggar will pick up the foul. That'll be his second, third team foul. Two on him and one on Griffin White. I'd like to see uh, if you're Griggsville Perry, each one of those guys pick up another one. And into the contest for the Eagles, Kerfman will return. He'll replace Mario Rogers. Right now, Duggar's still in the game, is he not? Yes. Kerfman with it out front to Brown. On the right side, Hunter Brown for a three from the opposite wing, and it's good. Hunter Brown heating up. He's got six. Woo. Makes it 20 to 9. 50 seconds to play in the first. White with it from the volleyball line again. Air ball and the rebound out of bounds for Griggsville Perry. You want them to keep shooting those. That gives you another shot. Hey, if you could catch this thing to single digits, maybe a little closer right before the quarter. 40 seconds to play in the first. Down by 11, but with the basketball are the Eagles as Rush will dribble it out front. Hisco says, let's go ahead and attack. Kaysen Brown to Rush on the wing. He'll pass it down low to Howland. They converge on him, and a foul going to be called. And if this is against Duggar, it'll be his third. It's going to be because he's the only guy down there. Duggar's going to pick up his third foul in the first quarter with 28 seconds left. They'll quickly get him out now, and I thought that would have been a good idea earlier. Noah Myers comes back in, and you just gave up about a foot. Yep, Wyatt Hawk also won the game for the first time. He's a sixth grader for Limestone, 20-9. The Rockets with the lead. Ball in the corner. Hunter, Brown, long two. No, it's a three. They'll call it. Shot no good. Now on the rebound, Brody Rush gets it between the legs to the rim. Shot in and out. No good. And the rebound to Klecker. Quick Ooh. outlet pass to White into the front court. 11 seconds to play in the first. Up by 11. Out front with it is White. Gets the screen from Klecker. Looks for Klecker at the free throw line. Left side, Subert for a three. Off the iron, no good. Klecker, rebound, put back. Won't call it the buzzer. And we've played a quarter. After one, it's a 20-9 advantage for the Limestone Walters Rockets on top of the Eagles of Grigsville Perry as you watch two drive basketball action on Central Illinois Sports.
First National Bank of Griggsville with locations in Griggsville, Mount Sterling, and Pittsfield. Maybe you ask, why choose Farmers National Bank of Griggsville? The answer is simple. Local people, local decisions, and local commitment with local investments. We have many products and services to meet your needs. We invite you to find out more about us. Go to fmbgriggsville.com and explore all the services we offer. Visit any of our three friendly locations in Mount Sterling, Griggsville, and Pittsfield today. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville, local people helping local people, member FDIC. The Griggsville Bus Service takes their work seriously. Why? Because Griggsville Bus Service knows you are entrusting them with your most valuable, your children. Griggsville Bus Service is proud to provide transportation each day to and from Griggsville Perry Schools and trips to many extracurricular activities. Just like the Eagles trip to the state tournament, find out more about Griggsville Bus Service today, making each trip the most important one yet. 20 to 9, Peoria with the lead, 7 to 13 from the field, 6 of 10 from the tray, no free throws. Griggsville Perry, 3 of 11, 3 of 9 from the tray. Rush with it on the left side for the Eagles. He had a sweet move to the basket near the end of that quarter. The shot just would not roll in for him, though. Kaysen Brown had trouble with a catch, gets it to Rush. Back to Kaysen Brown, left side, thought about the baseline move, cut off there, free throw line to Kerfman, out top Hunter Brown. Brown with the ball to rush between the circles. 5.33 to play in the half. Down by 11. Hunter Brown into the corner. Ball stolen away by Klecker. Third turnover by the Eagles. Locking it up is Griffin White. Gets the screen from Myers. Double team comes at him. Ball tipped and run down by Myers, but he's standing out of bounds and a turnover on Limestone Walters. Their third also. 20 to 9 as it was as we started the quarter and GP on the attack trying to get a little closer. A little 2 1 2 zone action. Here's Hunter Brown for a three. It's off the iron, no good, and Klecker gets another board. Six boards on the night plus a steal. Yeah, he's owned him. The end of the front court, White to Subert on the left side. Turns down the three to Klecker at the free throw line. A little floater up won't fall. And the rebound pulled down by Howland. Outlet pass to Hunter Brown into the front court. Wants to push. Gets it out top the rush. Rush puts it on the deck, now to Brown right side, 4.45 to play in the first. Rush with a dribble drive, kicks to the corner, Kaysen Brown three, it's way too long, and on the rebound, they'll call a shove underneath against Klecker. Klecker going to pick up the foul. It will be Gavin Klecker, his first, team foul number five. And they're going to put Duggar back in the game. Wow, that's crazy. Robin Blaine Howland watching from Perry, dad and brother of Blake Howland, glad to have you along today. 217-473-5151. Send us a text. Kerfman gets it on the impounds. Out top to Howland. Now to Rush. Duggar has three fouls, and they put him back in here with 428 to play in the half. Here's Kaysen Brown for a three. Won't roll through. Clucker another board. His seventh. Seven boards already. Wow. Gets it to White. White will walk it across the big wildcat here at East Peoria Central Junior High. Duggar to Clucker. Kicks left side, Subert oh, for a three. Good again. I thought he could have been called for the travel. Subert with another, what's he got, three threes? He does. He's got nine. Makes it 23-9 with just under four to play in the half. Seven threes, 21 of their 23 points. Shooting it well. Hunter Brown at the free throw line. Out top the curve, but to Kaysen Brown, left side, a three ball there, won't fall. Rebound fought for, guess who? Klecker again. Eight. As he ripped it down. White will walk it toward the front court here for the Rockets. Dribbles between a couple of guys. Down to Klecker. Good find. He'll put it up. Missed the layup and the rebound down to Howland. Quick outlet pass to Brown. Now Rush. Trying the little dribble drive. Behind the back with it. His game has been shut down a little bit in this contest due to that zone. Now Kaysen Brown on the left side to Rush. Back to Kaysen Brown. Thought about the three. In the middle gets it to Kerfman. Now to Hunter Brown out top. Over to Rush. To Kaysen Brown on the left side. Thought about the three again. 3.09 to play in the half. Down 23-9 is Griggsville Perry. Now between the circles, Hunter Brown. To Rush. To Kaysen Brown left side. Back to Rush on the wing. And a timeout by Matt Hansen. He wants a 30-second break. 2.59 to play in the half. Their third timeout of the half. 23-9. The lead for the Rockets back after this. 
and insurance services realize today's risk. A good risk management plan is a necessity. It takes thought and consideration in many variables that face you as a producer. No one solution can be the answer. At Lipcomb Insurance Services, we have over 40 years of experience with agriculture and the problems you face. We offer a wide variety of options to help you shelter some of the risk. We understand farming. We will go over your goals and challenges as a producer and build a risk management plan that fits your operation. Contact Brett Lipkeman at 217-242-2703. Lipkeman Insurance Services, a trusted and proven provider of federal crop insurance for over 20 years. Two minutes, 59 seconds to play in the half. 23-9 is the advantage for Limestone Walters on top of Grigsville Perry. Today's broadcast brought to you in part by Waters Concrete. Tim Waters offers quality concrete for your new build, driveways, sidewalks, decorative patios, anything with concrete, it's Waters Concrete. Ready to serve you. 309-252-1052. That's 309-252-1052. Grigsville Perry called the timeout the third of this first half of play. And they'll have the ball sideline out of bounds in the front court. Thank you to Gianni's Pizza, Musgrave Angus, Lipcomb Insurance, and Lipcomb and Seed Sales, some of our sponsors. Rush with the basketball on the right side to Hunter Brown. To Rush. It's at a case in Brown on the left side to rush top of the key. Put it on the deck, drive inside, trying to force the issue a bit. Shot no good. Rebound fought for, pulled down by White for the Rockets. Griffin White into the front court. Looking for a drive lane. Has it left side. Now free throw line to Klecker. On the right side, Duggar for a three. It's too long. And the rebound down to Case and Brown for the Eagles. Not a lot of points scored in this quarter by either squad. Nope, this is the quarter score. Rush down low, gets it to Howland, and he has shot his block. They'll call it a tie-up, and on the alternating possession there, it'll be Rockets basketball. Tracy Hansen watching from St. Louis, the coach's mom. Thank you for listening, Mrs. Hansen. White Hawk back into the game for Limestone. They lead by 14 with 2.17 to play in the second quarter. Ooh, you can pick up a foul on Duggar here somewhere. Duggar, left side, Subert, back to Duggar, out top, White. They get him open for a three, missed it short, and the rebound will go out of bounds and be Grigsville Perry basketball. They have shot 12 threes, made seven of them of their 18 shots. The chance, though, here for Grigsville Perry to cut it closer before the half. They've got to make some shots. Case and Brown right side, free throw line to Howland. He'll throw a pass that's tipped, but run down by Hunter Brown on the left side, Brody Rush. He'll put it on the deck one time, skips it across to Brown, out top Hunter Brown from Kaysen for a three, shot won't go. Rebound underneath the Klecker. Quick outlet pass to White on the run into the front court. Dribble drive into the rim, shot won't go, rebound Klecker. He kicks it back out to Subert for another three, no good on the air ball. Duggar had the board, but it's off of his hands and out of bounds, and it will be Griggs with a period ball, length of the court to go. I don't think Duggar ever secured the no. board, did he? No, he did not. 130 left in the half, 23 to 9. GP needs to put some points on the board here in the quarter. They have not scored this quarter. They only have given up three. Here's Brown. He puts up a wild shot, no good, and the rebound down to Duggar. To White into the front court. Now Subert on the long pass. Subert on the drive, and he is fouled. Reach and foul here with 112 left in the half. That foul will go against Case and Brown. It'll be his first and the first I've got in the column for Grigsville Perry. Five the other way, just one on Grigsville Perry. So they can afford to even be more aggressive if they want. Ball of bounds underneath. Duggar to throw it in. Gets it into the corner to White. He must be valuable if they're playing him with three fouls. White tries the baseline move and he's fouled by Kerfman. Kerfman's first to the game. 110 left in the half. Out of bounds again, Duggar to throw it in. Gets it to White in the corner, right back to Duggar in the middle to Klecker. Ball knocked loose, but a run down by White. He'll work at the Subert. Subert going to let it fly from three, no good. Long rebound out to Garrett White. Or excuse me, Griffin White, excuse me. Griffin drives in, gets it to Klecker. Good take, shot up is good. Klecker another two. His second bucket of the day has four. And makes it 25 to nine. Biggest lead of the ball game right now. 45 seconds to play in the half. Hunter Brown with it out top. Gets it to Rush. Rush drives. Little floater up left hand. No good. Klecker another board. Ten defensive, one offensive boards already in the first half. Wow. White walks it across. A big lead in the basketball for Limestone. 
White with it on the right wing. With 23 ticks, tried to throw a pass, it's tipped, and it's going to be stolen away, I believe, and then a foul on Subert. Subert picks up the foul. That'll be his first, team foul number six. Lucky Duggar didn't get involved in that action. He's playing with three. GP needs a basket. I think you go right at Duggar here if you can. Yeah, right, plays the bottom of that zone, try, kind of hard to get there. Doing a nice job of not letting a lot of penetration happen from the top. Rodgers setting a screen for Brown on the right side. Rush out top. Rodgers to Kerfman in the corner. Hunter Brown turns down the three. Three seconds to get it to Kerfman. He'll launch a three. It banks in as the buzzer sounds. The only three points of the quarter come at the buzzer as Kerfman gets it to go and makes it 25-12 at the half. We take you to the Carnes Communication U.S. Cellular Halftime Show. Halftime stats and more your way after this. At U.S. Cellular, we believe you should get more of the latest 5G technology for less of your hard-earned money. Right now, get up to $1,200 off any 5G phone. The choice is yours. Any of our 5G phones with no trade-in or hidden fees. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Terms apply. See uscellular.com for details. Come check out America's locally grown wireless at U.S. Cellular. Visit Carnes Communications, a U.S. Cellular authorized agent. Located at 224 East Washington Street in Pittsfield. Logan Ag is now in its 60th year. That's almost as old as Grampy. That's right, boys, and we continue to provide quality products at competitive prices. With service that exceeds customer expectations. Logan Agri Service. Serving agriculture since 1962. No matter who wins today, you can be on the winning team. Discover a job where your pay, job security, and safety are our top priorities. At DOT, our material handlers and drivers earn some of the best money in the market. Plus, we top that off with gold-based pay opportunities, profit sharing, vacation time, 401k matching, and more. Make your fantasy team a reality. Join DOT today. When you think about it, productivity starts at planting. So it's time to rethink how productive your planter can be. We did with the new Case IH 2000 Series Early Riser Planter. We rethought your row unit so it's tougher, more accurate. We rethought your meter, took the most precise technology, factory installed it. We rethought every inch of the Case IH Early Riser Planter to make it the most productive planter around. And if you think about it, that's exactly what you want. Welcome back on the Cards Communication U.S. Cellular Halftime Show. Jack and Charlie Hull bringing the action with John Run and the camera today on Central Illinois Sports. Semifinal state action in 7A ball. It was 20-9 after one quarter. Peoria Limestone Walters led. They lead here at halftime 25-12. So a 5-3 second quarter. 9 of 22 from the field is Limestone, 41%. 7 of 14 from the arc, 50%. They've turned the ball over four times. They have Justice Duggar with three fouls, single fouls on Griffin White, Lucas Subert, and also on Gavin Gleckler. Gleckler has pulled down 11 boards in the first half. Four of 21 is GP from the field, 19%, four of 15 from the arc. Yep, all their points came from the three in the first half. They've turned it over three times. Two guys with a single foul apiece in Aaron Kerfman and Kaysen Brown. It is a 25 to 12 lead at halftime for Limestone Walters over the Grigsville Perry Eagles. Anything can happen in the second half. Coming back with individual scoring on the Cardinals Communication USL your halftime show after these. When you have a financial question or ideas, you need someone to listen. A professional can listen and help provide insight. Andy Henry of Integrity Investments and Financial Services in Pittsfield can assist you to evaluate your long-term investment and retirement planning approach. Call Andy today to schedule a time to discuss your financial planning and strategy at 217-285-6441. That's 217-285-6441 for Andy Henry and Integrity Investments and financial services. DNL Project Management is a licensed, bonded, and insured roofing company owned by Darren Workman. We specialize in all types of roofing from shingles, metal roofs, commercial, industrial, and residential roofing. Book your roof project early before the price increase hits. 
Call 217-371-2760 or find us on Facebook as well. DNL Project Management, riffing their way on top of your home or business. 217-371-2760. a and Builders, owned and operated by Anthony and Afton Barreyes, is located in Barry, Illinois. They specialize in building homes in Pike County and the eastern Missouri Hannibal area. a and focus on new builds but offer remodels, including siding and room remodels. They also offer creative home designs where they draft custom homes. In addition, they do in-ground pool installation. While others are two to three years out, call a and and you will see they can get to your project right away. Phone 217-440-5930 for a and Building making your dreams real for you. Farmers, are you looking for high-yield genetics to help the bottom line on your farm? Contact Lipkeman Seed Sales for high-yielding A-Series soybeans from Pioneer. We have the luxury right now to be offering the highest-yielding soybean lineup Pioneer has offered in 30 years. Couple that with a service that is second to none, and you have a winning combination for your farm. For corn, check out the results of the National Corn Growers Yield Contact and see who's at the top. Maybe today is a good day to revisit Pioneer corn hybrids as well. Contact Aaron, Evan, and Brett today for high-yielding A-Series soybeans for Pioneer. 25-12, the halftime lead on the Carnes Communication U.S. Cellular Halftime Show. Peoria Limestone Walters leads the Grigville Perry Eagles. And individual scoring looks like this. Four Limestone, two guys with nine points apiece. That's Griffin White on three threes. Three threes from Lucas Subert and four points from Gavin Gleckler to go with 11 boards for him in the first half. On the other side, Balance scoring, but just uh, three guys in the scoring column. Hunter Brown's got six on two threes. And Cason Brown had a three in the first quarter. Aaron Kerfman bounced one in from the backboard to be the only points of the second quarter. And that's how we've got to our 25-12 halftime score. Walters from Peoria Limestone leading the Grigsville Perry Eagles. Don't go away, though, folks. These Eagles have got a lot of fight left in them. Carnes Communication, USA, their halftime show, the corner of Washington and Jackson, 285-5400. Carnes Communication, your U.S. Cellular agent. Back with the second half play-by-play after these. Rumors have it Bar and Grill in Griggsville is located at 115 West Quincy Street in Griggsville, of course. Locally owned and operated Monday through Thursday plus Saturday. Kitchen is open 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Friday an hour later till 9 and Sunday 1 to 6. Carryout is welcome. Call 217-833-2000. Mushrooms, great onion rings, jalapeno poppers, plus more. Great salads, sandwiches, hand-padded burgers, wraps, horseshoes, pulled pork. Rumors have it there's even more in Griggsville on the south side of the main drag. Former State Bank, proud Proudly supports the communities it serves, and we wish the Grigsville Perry Eagles the best of luck in the IESA State Tournament. As the area's top-ranked ag bank, we are proud to serve our customers from six locations in Pittsfield, Winchester, Whitehall, Jerseyville, and Hull. Farmers State Bank, member FDIC, and equal housing lender, saying, Go Eagles! For delicious, authentic Italian pizza and pasta, it's Gianni's Pizza on the Square in Pittsfield. From delicious appetizers to a wide selection of specialty pizzas and pastas, Gianni's has something everyone will enjoy. Take advantage of the Gianni's Pizza Special, where you can order any extra-large pizza and receive a free, small, one-topping pizza. For carryout or delivery, call 285-4002. That's 285-4002 for Gianni's Pizza on the Square in Pittsfield. State Representative C.D. Davidsmeyer is excited to support this broadcast of State Tournament Action. Representative Davidsmeyer is honored to serve our area as your state representative. He cares about the people in his district and works hard to hear your voice. C.D. welcomes you to reach his office in Jacksonville at 325 West State Street or give him a call at 217-243-6221. State Representative C.D. Davidsmeyer wishing you good luck in your run to the title. Paid for by C.D. Davidsmeyer for re-election to the Illinois legislature. The East Pike Lending Library is the little gold mine in Detroit, Illinois that you may not know about. They offer free, yes, free books for your pleasure. East Pike Lending Library is funded by area donations from friends. There's no charge ever for you to take a book and enjoy it. Presently, they are not taking book donations as they are blessed with way too many books. That means you need to stop by soon. The East Pike Lending Library is run by volunteers, and that just might be you. Come in as a stranger, leave as a friend at the East Pike Lending Library in Detroit. 
Musgrave Angus Premium Beef would like to congratulate the Griggsville Perry Eagles and their coach Matt Henson for their trip to the state tournament. Musgrave Angus provides premium beef that is locally raised. You can buy it at one of our three locations in Pittsfield, Haymakers, Roots Market, or Pike County Mercantile. It's Musgrave Beef. Can you taste it? It's delicious Musgrave Premium Beef. Back with you at East Peoria Central Junior High at halftime. A 25-12 lead for the Limestone Walters Rockets over the Griggsville Perry Eagles. Eagles will have the basketball to start this second half of play. And you wonder if they might have missed, and I think it's probably safe to say, a little bit of an opportunity to make it a little closer, Jack, as uh, the Rockets cooled off a little bit from the field, only scoring five points, but Griggsville Perry only put in three in the quarter. Good defense that time by the Rockets also. You got to give them credit where credit's due. And GP needs to figure out a way to get some two-pointers and create some havoc underneath. Rush with the ball, left side, Kaysen Brown. He'll reverse the dribble, work it out front now to Hunter Brown. On the right side, Brody Rush. Puts it on the deck, looks for a driving lane. Nowhere to go, has to go out top. Kaysen Brown straight on three ball, off the iron, no good. Rebound underneath, Hunter Brown trying to go back up with it. Got to get out of the lane, out of Brody Rush, who drives in, puts up a runner, no good. Rebound put back, Howland off the iron, no good. Gets his own board again, and this time it falls. Howland's first two of the game, but Duggar just about got another foul. But he's playing with three fouls, so he's got to be careful for the Rockets. White with it on the right wing. Dishes it to Subert. Subert is now going to be called for a carry and yep. a turnover on the Rockets. You can see him get his hand under the ball. Fifth turnover of the ball game, first of the second half on Limestone. 25-14 on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Get it to single digits here, guys. Yep, a chance to cut it under 10. Hunter Brown left side. And a reach and foul on Subert on the wing. Subert will pick up the foul. It's his second, first of the second half on his team. Just one mistake away from picking up your third. You got to be careful wasting fouls in that situation. Yep. 5.05 left in the third. 25 14. The Limestone Rockets pass out front, Kaysen Brown to rush on the wing right side. And the lefty tries the drive, cut off there by Klecker. Skip it across, Kaysen Brown. Free throw line, Rogers out top, Hunter Brown. Extra pass to Rush, puts it on the deck. Spin move inside to the rim for two. His first two, and that was a pretty one. Brody Rush with his first basket of the game, and it makes it a nine-point game. 4.35 to play in the third. White with it out front, works off the screen. In the corner, it goes to Myers. Back out to White. Got to guard White way out there, man. He can really put it up from downtown. He's quick, too. Yep. He'll work at the Subert. Now out top to White, out near the big Wildcat here. 4.17 to play in the third. Gets the pick from Klecker. Launches from way downtown. No good. Offensive rebound down to Rogers. Gets it to Rush. Rush under the front court. Left hand layup up and good. Brody Rush another two, and it's down to a seven-point game. And the Limestone Rockets now want the timeout. GP trying to make the comeback. 4.03 to play in the third. Down 25-18. Back after this. Wildcat Car Wash in Barry and the Sherman family, Mariska, Dalton, Gina, and Corey Sherman would like to wish the Eagles good luck in the state tournament. They've made several updates and upgrades with the car wash and more to come. If you'll download the Touch 4 Wash app or your first wash, it will be free. From the Tri-State Car Wash and Wildcat Car Wash in Barry, call 217-407-407. 4511 for Tri State Car Wash and the Wildcat Car Wash in Barry. Teddy's Bar and Grill, home of the Eagle Nest Burger in the Bird City, Griggsville, Illinois. Teddy's Bar and Grill wishes the Griggsville Perry Eagles Junior High the best of luck in your trip to the state tournament. Teddy's is located on the north side of the beautiful Griggsville Square in downtown Griggsville, Illinois. How hard can it be to find, especially when you're hungry or want some time with great friends? Stop by Teddy's Bar and Grill in Griggsville today. 4.03 to play in the third, 25-18. The Limestone Walters Rockets with the lead in the basketball after the timeout called by their coach, Ben White. Griffin White with it. On the right side, Subert turns down the three. Dribbles to create a passing lane, gets it to Griffin White. Now to Kleckler. Pass down low, run down by Duggar. Out to White for a three, no good. 
And they'll call a foul on the box out against Cason Brown, and Griffin White will shoot three shots. Cason Brown will pick up the foul. It's going to be his second first team foul, his second half, first free throws of the ball game. Not one, not two, but three free throws for Griffin White. And is he too close to be shooting from that spot? 25-18, 340 left third quarter. First one up he is off the front of the rim, no good. Damon Emmerich of Great Rivers Bank can help you with your next auto residential or commercial loan need. Give Damon a call, 217-285-4404. White's second one, the adjustment made, and it rolls around and crawls through. He's got 10 now. Makes it 26-18, back to an 18 or eight-point lead. The third one in a three is up and does not fall through. And on the rebound, they're going to say it went off of GP's Brown out of bounds. And a lot of that was caused by Glecker, put, Glecker putting some pressure on. Inbounds pass comes to Griffin White, right side three, no good. Klecker goes and gets another board, though. To Subert left side, out top to White. White to Subert. Puts it on the deck to White between the circles. 3.27 to play in the third. 26-18 is the Limestone Walters lead. Need those rebounds in those situations if White's willing to put it up from 25. Well, Klecker has a ton of boards in this contest. Just uh, 12 so far. Here's a three now put up no good by Duggar. And the rebound again to Klecker. Works it around to White. White for a three. It's good. That's a big time fourth chance opportunity. And it makes it 29-18, back to a double-digit lead. Just under three minutes to play in the third. And Matt Hansen, you got to be telling your guys, we got to get those rebounds. Brown in the corner, works the two rush. Back to Kaysen Brown, he'll try a three, it's off the mark, no good. Rebound down to Howland on the offensive side to Hunter Brown. Out top, Brody Rush, he'll put it on the deck, drives, kicks. Kaysen Brown again for a three, and it's good. He gets the answer, does the little sixth grader, Kaysen Brown, and makes it 29-21. White out top to Duggar. On the right side, Subert to Duggar between the circles. Around it goes to White. They're out to pressure him a little bit more. They'll let him have a free shot to Duggar for a three. It's good. Justice Duggar with the tray and the answer. His second three of the day, six points for him. Makes it 32-21. Nine threes in the day, 27 of their points. Hunter Brown for a three trying to answer. It's off the mark and the rebound loose. Run down by Brody Rush for Grigsville Perry on the offensive side. And working in the corner, Kaysen Brown. He's kind of trapped there, gets it to Rush. Back to Brown. Brown, a quick launch of another three. Good again. Get back and nine. forth, just bang, bang, bang on these threes. But wow. Grigsville Perry can't afford to trade baskets because they're still down by eight. 139 left in the third. White with it. On the right side to Duggar, to Subert. He'll skip it across the top to White out top, inside the volleyball line, off the mark, no good. Rebound down to Klecker. On the right side, Subert lets the man go flying by, launches a three, in and out, no good. Rebound tip, comes down to Kaysen Brown. For Grigsville Perry, he'll push into the front court, Hunter Brown, to rush on the left side. Puts it on the deck, looks for a driving lane, kicks Two it hands. out, and they'll call a blocking foul here against one of the Rockets. Subert's going to pick it up, I do believe, and it'll be his third. And we'll get the mask break here. 112 to play in the third. 32-24 is the advantage for Limestone Walters on top of Grigsville Perry back after this. When you are considering a great place to raise a family, we invite you to visit the great city of Griggsville. Mayor Kent Guai and the city board want you to find out why Griggsville is a great place to live and work. Griggsville, affectionately known as the Bird City because of their love of the Purple Martins, offers great schools, beautiful parks, great access to Interstate 72, churches, businesses, and most of all, the people. Find out why Griggsville would make a great place for you to call home. Good luck, Eagles. We are proud of you. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville with locations in Griggsville, Mount Sterling, and Pittsfield. Maybe you ask, why choose Farmers National Bank of Griggsville? The answer is simple. Local people, local decisions, and local commitment with local investments. We have many products and services to meet your needs. We invite you to find out more about us. Go to fmbgriggsville.com and explore all the services we offer. Visit any of our three friendly locations in Mount Sterling, Griggsville, and Pittsfield today. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville. Local people helping local people. Member FDI. I see. 112 to play in the third, 32-24. The Limestone Walters lead. Briggsville Perry has the ball out underneath their own basket. 
And bounce comes in the corner to Rush. Works it out to Rogers. To Hunter Brown, left side. Couldn't get free for the three. To Mario Rogers. On the right side, Kaysen Brown. Out top Rush with a minute to play in the third. Down by eight. Jason Brown, right wing, to Rush, fakes the three to Brown in the corner. They play a little pitch and catch on that side of the court. Rush looking for somewhere to go with it. Now he's in a little bit of trouble to Kaysen Brown. 45 seconds left in the third. Brown gets it back, fakes the three, drives against Duggar, kicks it out to Rush. Rush will put it on the deck. He and the man collide there. Free throw line, Howland throws it over the top to Hunter Brown. Out top, Rush. Rush with a dribble drive. Ball swiped away by White. Quick hands by Griffin White. He'll drive into the front court. Coast to coast. Runner up is no good. Rebound Klecker. He will put it back up. No good. Gets his own board. Shot up won't fall, but that's because he's fouled, and he'll shoot two. Klecker with six offensive boards, 16 boards on the day, 22.6 seconds left in the third quarter. Boy, they could have got it to six, but now 32-24. Klecker goes to the free throw line. He's got four points, 16 boards in the day. Wow. 16 rebounds. And it's the third quarter. 22.6 seconds left in the quarter. 32-24 trying to add to that. First free throw was up. Not close. Just a little short that time. Got to finish up to his toes. Here's Wyatt Hawk back in. He'll replace Noah Myers. Duggars played two quarters without picking up another foul. Yep, That's with big. three. Second one up. Like Klecker is up, makes the adjustment, and it's good. He's got five. Had he missed it, he would have had another opportunity as Howland actually had faulted the line down low. A nine-point game, 15 seconds to play in the third. Hunter Brown with it. Holds it out near the half-court line. Works it toward the right wing. Bounces to Rush. Seven seconds to Rogers. Around to Kaysen Brown. To Hunter Brown. Left side. Throws it out there to Kaysen Brown. He'll launch a deep three. It's off the iron. No good. And three quarters are in the books. It's 33-24. The Limestone Walters Rockets on top of Grigsville Perry. Back with fourth quarter play-by-play -play after this. Lipkin and Insurance Services realize today's risk. A good risk management plan is a necessity. It takes thought and consideration in many variables that face you as a producer. No one solution can be the answer. At Lipkin and Insurance Services, we have over 40 years of experience with agriculture and the problems you face. We offer a wide variety of options to help you shelter some of the risk. We understand farming. We will go over your goals and challenges as a producer and build a risk management plan that fits your operation. Contact Brett Lipkeman at 217-242-2703. Lipkeman Insurance Services, a trusted and proven provider of federal crop insurance for over 20 years. Well, it's a game of threes today. Nine of 31 is Grigsville Perry on the day. Six of 19 from the three, so 18 to their 24 points. They trail 33-24 on the other side. Nine threes, 27 to the 33 points for Peoria Walters, Lime, or Limestone Walters. They're 11 of 32 from the field, but 9 of 21 from three. So all but two of their buckets have come from the tray. It's limestone basketball, fourth quarter action. Up by nine. Ball at the half court line comes free to Duggar. He'll work a pass, and Howland just a hair late and fouls the man. Howland will pick up the foul, his first team second, and they need some team fouls now. The team from Peoria is one for five from the free throw line. You've got to put them at the line try to catch up in this game. It's got to be happening quick. 5.50 to play. They're pressuring White out there, trying to swipe at the ball. It's a Subert. Subert on the dribble drive, dribbles to the baseline, ball knocked free, and out of bounds last touch by the Eagles. I wouldn't be afraid if I were them to foul three times on this trip down the court. I mean, trying to aggressively go after the ball, and if you get called for a foul, so be it, right? Inbounds pass comes to Klecker. Shot fake, puts it up and in. They tried to get Hallen over on him, but he was a little late. He's got seven, 35, 24 now. Back to an 11-point game. Rest with it on the wing. He'll try the drive. Kicks it to Kaysen Brown for a three. It's off the iron, no good. Rush gets the offensive board. He'll keep it on the wing left side with 5.20 to play. Hunter Brown out top now. Looks in the corner to Rush. Guarded there by Klecker. Works it out top. Hunter Brown to Kaysen Brown. Kaysen Brown across to Hunter Brown. Brown on the drive. Little floater up off the glass and in for two. He's got seven, or no, uh, 11, I should say, Hunter Brown. Makes it 35-26, and as the man brings the ball off the court, a foul committed here by Briggsville Perry's Brody Rush. Rush picks up the foul, just his first to the game, so everybody can foul with the exception of Kaysen Brown at this point and try to get that total up a little higher. It's just at three. 
Nine point lead for Limestone Walters. 4.54 to play. Here's a three by Griffin White, no good. And the rebound down to Hunter Brown for Greg Swift Perry. That's Quick a shot. Break for GP. Kaysen Brown into the front court. Works it to Rogers. Out top, Hunter Brown. Fakes the pass. Now to Kaysen Brown on the right side. Namario Rogers. A single dribble of it. Pass way out front. Stolen away by Griffin White. White with a larceny. Jump stop. Layup good. And a heads up play by Griffin White. 15 for him now. Makes it 37-26. Rush the other way. Drives in. Draws contact. Shot won't fall. But is fouled by Duggar. Duggar will pick up his fourth. It comes in the fourth quarter with 424 left after having three in the first quarter. And it'll put Rice to the free throw line. First free throws of the game for GP. 37-26, 4.24 left, making up some with the clock stop, hopefully. First one's up, and no good. Water's concrete that can help you with all of your concrete needs. New builds, driveways, sidewalks, decorative patios, anything with concrete, it's Water's Concrete, 309-252-1052. Need the second one here. Brody Rice, the lefty, puts it up and makes it happen. He's got five. Ten-point game, 37-27, 4.20 left. White with it in the backcourt. Works it across as the Eagles try a little full court pressure. White didn't have much trouble bringing that. Now he has the ball knocked out of bounds. Ooh, that's touched by White and a turnover. Six turnovers, two in the second half. Take advantage of it here, young man. Allen sits down. Kerfman back in. Kerfman's got a three off the bank earlier in the game. Don't forget right before the half. Could be a big shot in this one. Never know. 4-10 to play. Rush with it out top. They kind of dare him to shoot it to Hunter Brown. Out to Rush. He's wide open for a three, and he'll knock it down. Seven-point game. Give him eight. 37-30, and a timeout by the Rockets. 3.59 left, 37-30. The lead for Limestone. Back with you after this. The Grigsville Bus Service takes their work seriously. Why? Because Grigsville Bus Service knows you are entrusting them with your most valuable, your children. Grigsville Bus Service is proud to provide transportation each day to and from Grigsville Perry Schools and trips to many extracurricular activities. Just like the Eagles' trip to the state tournament, find out more about Grigsville Bus Service today, making each trip the most important one yet. Three minutes, 59 seconds left in this contest, a seven-point game, 37-30. Grigsville Perry, you can string together a couple stops in a row, make a couple baskets. This could be tight down the stretch. It could. You've got to get that stop and then come down and complete the deal. Duggar with his fourth foul. Supert's playing with two. And uh, there's no doubt that Glecker is kind of a key man. But White with 15 points. But he's made some bad decisions on shooting some threes. Just fired it up. But he's used to being able to have the free hand, and he does right now. It's Peoria basketball on the length of the court to go. Duggar gets it to White in the backcourt. Little 1-2-2 two, two full court pressure. He works it across to Klecker. On the right side, Subert attacks the rack. Shot won't go. Rebound. Subert saves it in. Shot put up from the wing by Hawk. No good. And the rebound to Mario Rogers. And then he's fouled from behind by Subert. Subert's going to pick up the foul. And that's his third. Or maybe he's fourth. Fourth. It's his fourth foul also. Team foul number four also, so two guys with four fouls. Take advantage of it, Eagles. Seven-point game, 37-30. Rush with it on the wing. Dribble drive in, reach across, and a foul on Klecker. Klecker will pick up his second foul, 15 foul. Ball out of bounds, and the fouls are building up here. Into the game comes Noah Myers. He started the game. He sits Wyatt Hawk down, a couple sixth graders. Kaysen Brown to inbound for Griggsville Perry. Looks for an opening. Tried the pass inside, just wasn't there, and it's turned over. Six turnover of the game, third White, in the second half. White with it into the front court to Klecker. He'll get it to Duggar out near the half court line. Seven point game. Klecker to White, 320 to play. Down by seven are the Eagles. Rockets trying to maintain the seven point lead. Duggar way out near the half court line is to play a little pitch and catch. Trying to play keep away here. Now a ball nearly stolen away. Run down by Klecker. Down to Subert. He'll put it up. Shot no good, but he's fouled. And he'll shoot two shots with 3.06 remaining. That foul will go against Kerfman. It'll be his second. Team foul number five. But a shooting foul. And to the free throw line goes Lucas Subert. Lucas on the day has not shot a free throw. Has nine points all from the tray. First free throw is no good. They're now one of six from the free throw line, Charlie. 
37-30 on the Trash Queen scoreboard, 306 left. Limestones led from the get-go after they made their first two threes. The second one up is good. He's got 10. Good adjustment by Subert, back to an eight-point lead for the Rockets. Three minutes left. Rush with the basketball out front. Works it to Hunter Brown. Rogers, back to Brown. Hunter Brown, three, no good. Yes, it is. It, oh, they're going to say it hit the, they're going to say it hit the, the post above. I didn't think it came that high. I don't know about that one. That's a big call. And they're going to say it's a mask timeout. It definitely bounced up high and came back down and through, but they'll say it hit the post, so the three-point shot that went through will not count. 2.47 left, 38.30, Limestone has the basketball when we come back. Logan Ag is now in its 60th year. That's almost as old as Grampy. That's right, boys, and we continue to provide quality product at competitive prices. With service that exceeds customer expectations. Logan Agra Service. Serving agriculture since 1962. Well, 2.47 left, and... Uh, That's a big call. Yeah, I don't know that the Eagles caught a break there. 11 of 34 from the field of the Eagles, 8 of 22 from, the, from three. That would have been another three and made this a five-point game, but instead it's back to eight. And Peoria has the basketball with 2.47 left. Still some time left. Eagles do have two timeouts remaining as well. They've got five team fouls. So when do you start to try to put the Rockets at the free throw line? Right now, they're two of seven from the uh, free throw line. And Duggar inbounds the ball to White in the backcourt. They'll try to trap him there. They've got him trapped. He works out of it to Duggar. Duggar with his eyes up. Now in trouble in the backcourt to Klecker and a timeout by the Rockets. 2.38 remaining. 38-30, Limestone on top back after this. When you think about it, productivity starts at planting. So it's time to rethink how productive your planter can be. We did with the new Case IH 2000 Series Early Riser Planter. We rethought your row unit so it's tougher, more accurate. We rethought your meter, took the most precise technology, factory installed it. We rethought every inch of the Case IH Early Riser Planter to make it the most productive planter around. And if you think about it, that's exactly what you want. Two minutes, 38 seconds left, 38-30. Limestone on top on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Duggar will be the man to throw it in. Length of the court to go here. Gets it to Klecker. Now to White. White works it across the half-court line to Subert. Subert shoots a three. It's no good. Rebound on the play. Loose on the court. Down on the floor after it. Klecker stood up with it, and that's a travel. That'll be a turnover on Klecker, the seventh. And 38-30, uh, but now the Eagles have a must score each trip down the court to get back in this one. 2.24 left. They're only down by eight. Could have been down by five. Brown with it out top. Works it on the right side to Rush. Out top to Kerfman. In the corner, Hunter Brown. Couldn't get free for a three to Kerfman. Skips it across to Rogers. Rogers had it goes through his hands, turn it over. White with it after the turnover. 2.04 remaining. Wide into the front court to Klecker. Works it to Subert on the right side. Does not shoot the three this time. Out near the half court line to White. If you're the Eagles, you got a foul here, I think. Yep. They're trying to foul, and they do call Mario Rogers for the foul. Rogers will pick up the foul, his first. Team foul, what, six? Yes. One to go. Got to put him at the free throw line. If you're GP with 151 left, you're down by eight. Boy, that turnover and that call killed him. Well, getting down 20 to 3 at one point didn't hurt. Yeah, it didn't help. 151 to play in the fourth. Down by eight. Inbounds pass comes to White. Guarded there by Rush. Works it across the half court line to Subert on the right wing. Free throw line, Klecker. To White. Over to Subert. I would think he'd try to foul here pretty quickly. Now they'll get it to Duggar. To White. Klecker. Subert on the right wing. Over to White, little pitch and catch, quick action here by Limestone, and now a foul by Brody Rush, and Klecker will shoot the one-on-one. -on -one. Rush picks up his second, seventh team foul. 
Clicker at the free throw line is 0 for 1 on the day. Subert is uh, 1 for 2. 1 for 3 is Griffin White. Those are your little bit of a look at it. Clicker on the day with 7 points and 16 boards. Wow. 38-30, 129 left. First one by Klecker is up and good. Makes it when he needs to. He's got eight. 39-30 now. Could make it a double-digit lead with this one. Second one up is good. Made him boom. 40-30, Rockets, 127 left. Rush into the front court. Toward the right wing, hands it to Hunter Brown. Out to Rodgers. Back to Brown, right side, Hunter Brown three, no good. Rebound down to Rush. He'll throw it back out to Rogers for a three. It's no good. Rebound on the offensive side to Kaysen Brown. He's got it on the dribble, trying to get it out of that spot. It's tipped, still one away. 104 left, a 10-point lead for the Rockets and the basketball now. And Rush fouls White at the one-minute mark. White will go to the free throw line to shoot them one and one. Four of eight from the free throw line now. White on the day, one for three, got fouled on that three-point shot. 15 points for him on the day. One, two, three, four. Four threes on the day. One minute left. First one up by White, in and out, no good. Klecker with the offensive board. Wow. His 17th rebound, and now Kaysen Brown fouls White with 56.6 seconds left. Kaysen Brown picks up his third, ninth team foul. White to the free throw line where he is now. One for four. 56.6 seconds left. Shot is up and no good. Rebound to Hunter Brown, 55 seconds remaining. Still a 10 point game. Rush into the front court on the dribble. Kicks it out top, Hunter Brown. On the right side, Rogers. Brown launches from three, it's no good. Rebound, Rogers will run it down. He'll put it up from downtown, banks it home. And Hanson calls the timeout, Coach Hanson. In a 40-33 game with 39.9 seconds left. Seven-point game, just under 40 seconds left. Back after this. Wish you had extra cash for a vacation, a boat, a new car, projects around the house. Free up more cash for the things you want by taking advantage of low interest rates. Refinance your home with Great Rivers Bank and keep more of your money by lowering your monthly payment. Start the process online at greatriversbank.bank and work with one of our experienced loan officers to get the lowest rate possible. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Press Yours On You designs promotional items and create just about anything to showcase your company. Communities celebrate their school spirit and turn to us too for screen printing, embroidery, laser engraving and more. Press Yours On You, Highway 24, Camp Point. 39.9 seconds left, 40-33. The Limestone Walters Rockets with the basketball. Length of the court to go. They lead by seven on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Inbounds pass to Klecker. Got a foul right away, boys. Duggar. They'll throw a pass now to White. White will be fouled by Brown with 33.4 seconds left. That's Hunter Brown, correct? Yes. His first. Tenth team foul. Double bonus situation. Four of nine is this squad. White on the day is one of five. So a good guy to foul, you'd think. 40-33, 33.4 seconds left. White toes the line. Takes a couple little shuffle steps and puts the shot up, and it's good. 16 for White on the day. 41-33. You're down 20-3. They made a good comeback, but I'm afraid they're going to fall a little bit short. Second one up by White is also good. They can free throws when they need to. 17 for him. Into the front court. Kaysen Brown for a three from the wing. It's no good. Gets his own rebound. Dribbles out beyond the perimeter. Gets it to Rush. Rush to Hunter Brown for a deep three. It's no good. Rebound down to Klecker again. And he's fouled by Rogers. 18 rebounds of the day. Wow. Rogers picks up the uh, foul. Double bonus situation. Six of 11. And to the free throw line goes Gavin Klecker. He is 0 for 1 from the free throw line. 0 for 2 actually, has eight points. 18 boards, 18.2 seconds left, nine point game. He can make it double digits with this one. Way short again. He made two free throws earlier. Uh, you're right. Okay, 
missed that one. And this one, he gets it to go. He's got 10, third man in double figures. 43-33, 18 seconds left. Rush into the front court. Out top, Hunter Brown to Rush. Rush puts it on the deck, kicks to Kaysen Brown for a three from the wing. It's no good. Rebound down to Duggar. And the Limestone Rockets can just dribble this one out. They will move on to the state championship game on Thursday night. And Griggsville Perry will play for third and fourth place at 6 o'clock also on Thursday. We take you to the postgame show. It's presented by Illini Community Hospital. 43-33, the final of this contest. Back with final stats after this. Once or twice a year, I might get the cold or a flu, and my wife calls it the man flu. So, <laughs> so you know what that is. Yo, yeah. What do I love about our team? We have a good chemistry. We all work together. I mean, come on. I've got the best job in the world. Sometimes they say, oh, I like to do handstands. Yeah, I taught Brian how to do the handstand. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and every day, I mean, it's a fun day. Yeah, it definitely makes me proud to be here. No matter who wins today, you can be on the winning team. Discover a job where your pay, job security, and safety are our top priorities. At DOT, our material handlers and drivers earn some of the best money in the market. Plus, we top that off with gold-based pay opportunities, profit sharing, vacation time, 401k matching, and more. Make your fantasy team a reality. Join DOT today. Midwest Snowy, your locally owned shaved ice business, is looking forward to seeing all of our loyal customers this summer. Come try one or all of our over 30 flavors, including sugar-free and the Snowy Natural line, which has no artificial dyes or flavoring. Check out our Facebook and Instagram pages to see our schedule. If you want to see us at your event, message us on Facebook or contact us at 217-730-8886. When the weather gets hot, come see us at Midwest Snowy. The cool part of summer. Back on the Illini Community Hospital postgame show. Final of the contest, the Limestone Walters Rockets 43, Griggsville Perry 33. Limestone jumped out to that 20-3 lead. And although Griggsville Perry held them to just five points in the second quarter, they only scored three of their own, Jack, and just uh, too little too late for the Eagles in this one. Yeah, that second quarter was a chance for them to make the comeback. They got it down to eight. Then the three went in. It looked like they were down to five, but that one was waved off because it hit a bar, supposedly. And the final score, 43-33. Turnovers of the game, seven on Limestone and eight on Griggsville Perry. And uh, we did not see anybody foul out of the game. Limestone was 13 of 38 from the floor, 34.2%. Nine of 23, 39.1%. From the arc, seven of 13 from the free throw line, 53%. And that seven points from the free throw line helped them a lot. 12 of 42 was GP on the day, 28.7%. 9 of 28 from 3, 32%. 1 of 2 from the free throw line. By the way, they said Limestone set a new state record with nine three-pointers. If that's true, they were tied with nine three-pointers from GP on the day. For the Limestone squad, Griffin White had 17. Uh, he had nine in the first half and eight in the second half. Lucas Subert had double figures with 10. Justice Duggar had six points. Gavin Glecker had 10 points and on the day, 18 rebounds for them. On the other side, 11 points from Hunter Brown on the day, six from Kaysen Brown. Mario Rogers had a three on the day, a three from Aaron Kerfman, two from Blake, or one from Blake Allen, and eight points from Brody Rush. Final score in the game, 43-33, and the squad for over the Eagles will play at 6 o'clock. We'll be here to bring that game to you on Thursday night. Time to name our player of the game presented by Edward Jones Financial Advisor Derek Harris. Financial investments are important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, parents, and mentors. Derek Harris, who are Edward Jones Financial Advisor, understands this. That's why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the player of the game on Central Illinois Sports. And how about the day for young Mr. Clicker, Jack I don't know they're about the three-point record, but Gavin Klecker, I'm going to guess, set a record for rebounds in a game because what do you have on the day? 18 boards. My goodness. And 11 on the offensive side. On the defensive side, he added uh, another seven on the day. Wow, just an impressive effort. And the Limestone Walters Rockets will play for the state championship. Griggsville Perry, as Jack told you, plays for third and fourth place at 6 o'clock on Thursday. 
and we will have it for you here on Central Illinois Sports. It's possible because of the great support of area sponsors. Make sure not to only thank them, but spend your money with those folks to show your appreciation for sponsoring this event on Central Illinois Sports. Final 43-33, GP Falls in this one. For John and Jackal, I'm Charlie Holt. It's been another Central Illinois Sports presentation. We hope you've enjoyed today's broadcast of Grigsville Perry Eagles State Tournament Run. This game could not have happened without the following. Teddy's Bar and Grill, Waters Concrete, Dot Foods Incorporated, Gianni's Pizza, Musgrave Angus Premium Beef, Lipcomen Insurance, Lipcomen Seat Sales, The City of Griggsville, Griggsville Bus Service, Farmers State Bank, Wildcat Car Wash, Gina, Corey, Mariska, and Dalton Sherman, Midwest Snowy, Integrity Investments, Andy Henry, Rumors Have It, Damon Emmerich, Great Rivers Bank, a and Builders, Anthony and Afton Bar Eyes, d Project Management, Farmers National Bank of Griggsville, Beard Implement Company, East Pike Lending Library. Thanks for listening. We hope you enjoyed the broadcast, and way to go, Eagles.